how to compare two arrays. You need to compare arrays in this way. First, we need to determine if they have the same size. If that true, we're gonna loop through each element of one array and compare it with the other array at the same index. Okay, let's create our arrays. We'll give the value two, four, six, eight. And then we create second array. So we have two arrays, they are identical. How we will compare it? We will create a method and we call it equals. It will take two arrays and will compare the length. It will be a Boolean method and I will call it equals. You can call it whatever you want. It will take two arrays. So we will check if the length of these two arrays equals or not. So, we comparing two arrays, if they are not equal, it will return false. So, uh, so if it is equal, we will go to the next uh, step. So we're going to take any of these arrays because at this point they will be equal. So we can take array A or array B. No, it doesn't matter because they are the same size.
So we, we will look through this array through each index. So if it is not equal, it will return false. And finally, if it is never returns false here and never returns false here, it will return true. So here's, I think it's clear. And let's call our methods in main method. So it, have, it has to take two parameters. And what are we gonna do here? We'll print out the result. Else. So if it's not equal, it, we will print out Okay, let's try it out So here we see that we got the same array because they are identical. So let's slightly change it. So now the size of this array are different. So we see that the result is different array. So let's change the position of the index elements. So here we see that the array are not the um, same because the position, the index value of these arrays are different. So we see that it is it gets a different array. So let me explain it one more time. So first we create method and call it equals. It is a Boolean method and it takes two parameters. The parameters of this method is arrays. To array. So first it checks the length of this array and if it is not the same length it will return false and then we don't go and check the second condition. If the first condition is true then we go and check the second condition and here we have a for loop we iterate through each element of one array and check the same element at the second array and if it is same we go and iterate to the next index and if we complete this iteration and if all indexes are the same then we return true thanks for watching